Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's Black Ops Cold War video, guys. Today, I finally have my new controller, and we're gonna get rocking with it right now. Check it out. There it is. It's just, uh, Midnight Blue from Best Buy. Nothing special about it, but hey, there it is. Finally, we can run again. Why does this keep happening? Every time I join a game, there we go. It always, like, I joined the game right at the beginning, right? But it always, like, ever since the last update, it always starts me, like, just a couple of seconds like like all the beginning videos like of your characters all joining in the map like none of them none of them like show for me anymore which like isn't the end of the world but it's just weird i don't know something different but hey guys i can uh, run again i have new controller settings too but i want to before i like uh tell you guys what they are like what i'm running because i have like a bunch of new stuff i'm like trying out all at once uh before i tell you guys everything i just want to you know play with it for couple few days just to see how i really like it make sure you know i don't make any change. i don't want to say like oh here's my new controller settings and then i change them the very next day but uh i've been playing just uh like right now just like a couple couple of games here getting warmed up for the oh and i seen this guy bottom square did he just fall down here wait did he go down into the tanks he did goodbye that's actually my first kill getting someone uh under the tank right there like that boom it's very freeing though to finally be able to run again and be on controller and like i said i have these new settings which i really i'm really digging right now so that'd be fun once i get these mastered and then this lc10 i it's like lo what level is it right now level 16 so it was level one the other day when i made a video with this new weapon so right now i have a level 16 i just like i don't think i'm actually gonna use it in league play just because i know the 74u is just amazing unless this gun proves to be like actually that much better like in league play I don't think it will though. I think the 74U is gonna be it. Even though like I know this gun like won't get banned because they're not gonna ban the DLC guns in League Play. But, but that is what it is. Like I don't actually care about that. It's not a problem. Speaking of League Play, something really cool. Uh, Matt, I think his Twitter is Matt TKS or whatever. He's one of the guys at Shrek, and he said that they are currently looking for a way to fix the overkill issue in League Play. You little rat just hiding in the hiding in the vents like a little ratty boy. But I think that's like super cool. So I know that one of the so like so there's two ways that they could fix it, right? I don't know how to like how to fix games. Obviously, I don't know how to code anything like that. I'm not gonna say it's easy, but I know there's two fixes that can be done. Either one is just totally ban Lawbreaker entirely because like so I know the pros use Lawbreaker, they just don't use the overkill. And then obviously number two is to just make it so when you pick Lawbreaker, the overkill like section of it is banned like it doesn't allow you to choose a primary weapon as your secondary so the just straight up banning lawbreaker is definitely like the easier method here uh, the only problem with that is I, I mean so it's not really a problem here's the thing here's the situation the pros all use lawbreaker because they're actual pro players they can't ban or they can't use per greed they have per greed bans this per greed is actually super op when you're a pro level gamer like when you're a pro and you're actually like top-notch player you're the top one percent of the top one percent of all players in the world having six perks is super overpowered so that's why the pros have a band but the reason why that doesn't really matter in league play is if we just ban lawbreaker and everyone on perk greed is we're not pros and we're not gonna you know usually the league play people yeah sure obviously there are some really good players like top amateur players who are going to play league play yes but like that they don't use league play and pros don't use league play as their form of actual practice they just use it like when they're having fun and I feel like if we just ban Lawbreaker and everyone is sharing Perk Greed, it's fine. Like, us using... Everyone right now is using Perk Greed for the most part. Obviously, there's a few people running Gunfighter, but, like, do you really... I mean, no one is complaining about six perks, like, at our level, at our low skill level, compared to, like, you know, a pro skill level. You know what I'm saying? Now, obviously, it would be nicer to just have Lawbreaker, you know, have Lawbreaker work the way it's intended to, pro-wise, where, you know, you can't actually use Overkill on it. And then have perk greed like banned like how the pros like play it but like i said it doesn't really matter I mean, so the worst case scenario here's the only thing at our skill level there's only two things that really suck about perk greed one is cold-blooded so when you actually earn your cruise missile especially now that they have cruise missile fix you can't actually use christmas cruise missile to its full potential because everyone has cold-blooded on which sucks but it's not the end of the world and the other thing that's kind of annoying is how everyone has gearhead and quartermaster on so basically there's this constantly of 50 000 trophy systems on the map but you know i mean you could just have one or if you really want to two guys run engineer and sure like that's annoying but 
you know, something you could do. And like I said, it's a good, easier, I feel like that would be an easier fix just to ban Lawbreaker for now. And it, at the very least, like what I truly think they should do is just do that. Like what I just suggested, brand Lawbreaker entirely just until they get the, until they get Lurk, uh, Lawbreaker like fully fixed. Until they figure it out. Because clearly they have just not been able to figure out how to do it yet. I mean, this whole time they know like what is banned in that Lawbreaker or like Overkill is one of the most annoying uh like competitive game like problems that guy just smoked me the next time for you hurt my feelings regardless though i you know i think league play is in a good spot just i just truly don't like to play search and destroy right now it's only because of the overkill thing and it's just one of those things where I, i'm trying my best like to adapt to it to complain less often about it i'm trying to my best to uh adapt even though it's like hard and it is by far the most annoying thing but search and destroy you know doesn't happen that often so it league play in the current state is it's had an okay state now are are we all deep down still angry that we waited like four months for league play to come out and it wasn't perfect absolutely but we're you know we're, we're working with what we got i like it. and it was really awesome to see that like i said matt tks i believe is his twitter handle tweeted that they are actively like trying to figure out a fix for the whole overkill situation which is like super incredible like i like the transparency you know what i'm saying like it's okay i i like the idea like if they want to admit that they don't have a fix for something yet but they say like hey we're working on it like we don't have a fix but we are working on it that is nice to hear you know what i'm saying it's like hey yeah we don't have a fix but we're you know we're, we're in the middle of trying to figure that out so hopefully we'll have one out soon i really like that a lot can i beam this guy up top no i don't think i can but the, oh wait, he came back he came back oh that's a different guy son of a gun if i would have stuck oh i got spawns back here dude i don't understand this garrison p3 hardpoint is so confusing oh i guess my teammates were all back here but hey, this is the most confusing hardpoint ever like how the spawns work i don't know though i'm just i'm just here being a gamer i know i have the dual magnums on by the way i'm sorry about that i just haven't changed this class and it's one of those things where it's like uh oh, we're in pub so if everyone else is using it, i might as well use it too you know what i'm saying you know, that, that's just how the cookie crow... Dude, what in the world was that? Dude, I... <laughs> I still got a little bit of uh, adapting to do. To, um, you know, controller from one and then all my new se uh, settings. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Papa Smurf, get out of my... Get out of my back. Get out of here. Yesterday was a really nice day off of streaming. Not that streaming that was ever a bad thing. Well, you know, like, I love streaming. I didn't necessarily feel like I needed a day off. But Mrs. Rudy works this weekend. And so I took the day off of streaming... So I could spend the maximum, the absolute maximum amount of time with her as possible. Because this weekend she is working the whole weekend, which means this weekend we are gaming hard. Okay, starting tonight, starting tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern time, you guys are gonna see me at twitch.tv forward slash Rudy Patootie. We're gonna be playing some league play, hopefully playing some A's, who knows? Actually, uh, probably not eights tonight, but tomorrow night, Fridays. I've been saying this like the last few days. We're gonna be doing some eights. That's gonna be fun if you guys ever wanna get involved with that. Just let me know. That felt good right there. This LC10, I feel like, is going to be a lot better when I get the plus 100% bullet velocity barrel on it, you know? I feel like it's a pretty good gun right now, but, man, that 100% bullet velocity is just so OP. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Hello. Oh, goodbye. Oh, son of a gun. Dude, that nukes guy with his XM4, he has to be absolutely killing it right now, right? 43 and 21. Yeah, dude, he's killed me at least 10 times. I mean, that guy is frying me with that X. Dude, what? No shot is died to a kill streak on this inside this building. Oh, I just got the death machine. I just got the death machine. All right, here we go. Here's my chance to find nukes. And never mind. I die immediately to trap boy. And I lost my death machine. Dude, this machine is such a bad kill streak in this game. I mean, you you know what I'm saying? It You just die instantly with it. And then, you know, it's gone. So it is what it is, though. I don't know. It is. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. Please go away. You. Oh, yeah. Throw a Molotov and I'll push him. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't hit him once. Actually, I just realized I didn't get a single elim there. I need, I need to get I need to gotta be more aggressive. I'm just used to playing league play, you know, just hiding on the point, being a good boy for my teammates. I love it. Where? Oh, back, back. Oh, there's another guy back on the truck. No, no, no. Want to go prone? Well, that's one. Uh, one of the biggest, the biggest problems I'm having with switching back to controller from keyboard and mouse is on keyboard and mouse. I had my prone button be like a go to prone. So it wasn't like you hold your crouch and then you went prone. It was a separate button. Proning and crouching was an entirely separate button. So when I wanted to go prone, I would just slam, just spam that button, which was my left control. And so it was like so quick to go prone where on this, you know, you got to like hold it down, which is obviously not the end of the world. But the thing that sucks is in this game, as you guys know, prone blocking is nearly impossible. Like 99% of the time, or not, that's obviously an exaggeration. 
But majority of the time, when you try to go prone in this game, there's always this something random, like, blocking you. It's like a real pain in the butt. So, that's uh, one of the... Oh, I just got stuck with a grenade. Are you kidding me? I cannot believe I just got stuck with a nade by freaking nukes again. Get that guy out of my face. Like, how are you going that hard and you're still losing the game? I don't even understand. I'm at the bottom of the leaderboard, I'm pretty sure, on my team. I'm not looking at it again. I already showed you guys once, but actually, I wasn't thinking about it. I was trying to see nuke stuff, and I showed you guys my stuff. Get me out of this room. Give me that. Are you going to push me? I dare you. I'll pull out my magnums. I don't give a crap. Dude, it, you, you guys are going dummy hard, and you're still losing this game, okay? I just want to remind you that you guys are still losing this game. Wait. He could see my freaking elbow, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to the next hill. Because now we're about to lose this game, actually. Oh, no. Look at the timer. I didn't even see the timer. There's only two seconds left. Let me just go in here and contest for two more seconds. I'm just going to sit right here. And then there we go. Oh, my goodness. I have auto mantle on. Auto mantle just choked that for me so bad. Oh, 0.6 seconds. There we go. I think I can get in here and contest for 0.6. I can't believe auto mantle just choked it for me like that. What is this? What is this? Oh, let me napalm the hill. That'll be GG no re right there. GG no re right there. One time for the one time. Let, let that hit. Uh oh. Hello. No. Oh my goodness. That's my new sensitivity. I'm trying to figure out. Hey, my napalm got him off the hill. So GG me. Uh, my new sensitivity, I'll just say this. It's a little bit higher. Okay. I, I, it's 8.8. .8. It's not a secret. It's not that big of a deal. I'm trying to innate 8.8.5 .8 sensitivity. So it's a little bit faster when I'm like hit firing around, but when I'm actually aimed down sights, the same sensitivity. But I just want to try it for like a few more days before I can like really be confident in it. That is going to do it for today's video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, we are working on some new controller settings. I'm really enjoying I like the control and I like the look. It's a blue one, you know? It's cool. Nothing special about it. Just a blue standard controller. No buns on the back or anything like that. It is what it is. But hey, you know, I like it. So thank you guys for watching today's video. Thank you guys for all the support on all the platforms. Once again, I really do appreciate you guys watching, especially like with how popular the YouTube shorts are being. But don't forget to leave a like and subscribe on your way out. And I'll see you guys all later. And I'll see you guys tonight on twitch.tv4 slash 2 at 9 p.m. Eastern time. See you guys there. Goodbye.